Like most European car companies, Mercedes is betting big on electrification with a lineup that includes hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and of course, full battery electric vehicles like this all new EQS SUV. This is the co-electric flagship in the lineup along with the EQS sedan. So rather than having different names like we find with the S-Class and the GLS, we now have just EQS, sedan, and SUV. If you want to know all the details on this new EQS SUV, be sure and check out the full video on the EV Buyer's Guide channel. In this video, I'm just going to tell you high level what's going on with the EQS SUV and why you might want to check out that other video. Let's just start with the basics. Range in this model, 305 miles according to the EPA, 295 miles according to my real world results. Zero to 60, not the speediest, 6.7 seconds, but we do have a very roomy interior. Obviously, we also have a style kind of like a jelly bean, very different from the GLS because aerodynamics are very important for this vehicle. But it does have an optional third row. You can get this as a two row vehicle with a big cargo area or a three row vehicle with a tiny cargo area. Rear wheel drive is standard, but there are two all wheel drive options currently in the US and you can expect AMG models to come at some point. Also expect those AMG models to be pretty darn expensive. This model started at $104,400. Right now I am driving the rear wheel drive two row model. That is the least expensive way to get your EQS SUV. If you want all wheel drive, that's a minimum of $107,400. If you want the EQS 580, that's gonna be the faster version with dual motors. That's a minimum of $125,000. $950. The direct competitive set to this includes the Rivian R1S, the Tesla Model X, I guess you could say the BMW iX, even though that is only a two-row vehicle. We also have the upcoming Volvo EX90, which is not going to be on sale for at least 14 months after this goes on sale. And then, of course, the upcoming VinFast VF9, if you want something that's a little bit less expensive from kind of an intriguing startup. But if we're simply talking about comparably priced competition, there really is only one, and that would be the Tesla Model X, which is going to be more expensive than this starting but it is going to be a bit faster. Now, again, if you want to know all the details, be sure and check out the EV Buyer's Guide video, and then let me know what you think about introductions like this on the Alex and Autos channel. If you don't care about EVs, this is a simple way of knowing whether you're interested in that video or not, and then going over there for a deeper dive. I'll see all of you later.